Hey everyone, it's Evan and Daxon, and today we're out here micro fishing. We're using some little bitty lures. These are around probably 64th of an ounce and then an inch long. And Daxon's using a little hair jig, maybe just a little bit heavier weight, which seems to be working a little bit better. We were going fishing for some other kinds of fish at first, but it wasn't really panning out today. So we're gonna try our hand at catching some micro fish. So stay tuned. Oh, yep. A long-eared sunfish just flipped back in the water. You can, you might be able to see all the little bluegill and stuff in the water. We're just letting it go down and kind of jigging it, and they're they'll buy it. You get a lot of bites for even getting one, though. Whenever you're micro fishing like this. Oh, got another one. Decent-sized bluegill. So we're just catching them on this little bitty ultralight jig. Whenever you're looking for some of these little fish, you'll have better luck around a dock typically. That's where these little fish are going to want to hang out, and especially if you can find some shade. The nice thing about ultralight fish is that you can do this pretty much anywhere. Most any place is going to have little bluegill there. If you're wondering what all the waves are, it's all these boat, uh, boat wakes. A lot of people out today. Yeah. Oh. Got another one. <laughs> it's a lot of fun on these little jigs. Even these little bluegill feel like a lot. There we go. Saxon's gonna try fishing with a little jig too. This is just a little bitty hair jig, probably like a number 12 hook. Gosh, these wakes are pretty big. Whoa, you have, oh, that's all, a long-eared sunfish or a pumpkin seed. Man, that's a pretty one. This is the cool thing about micro fish. You can catch these little bitty fish. These are the fish that are going to be hard to catch whenever you're normally catching bluegill. There he is. That's a neat one, isn't it? There he is. Let me go ahead and throw him back. I see a bass patrolling out here or something. And that's why the little fish aren't here anymore. What did you get? Green sunfish or what? How many species is that today? I just put it right in the wall. Really? Yeah. Oh, there he is. Yep. Cool. Yeah. Yep, he went right back into the rocks. I don't know if you guys saw that, but he went right back in. Oh my gosh, that guy's jumping with a jet ski. Man, he was going fast. Oh, you got another one? They really like that bait. Yeah. There's another one, back he goes. Amazing, these little bitty baits are still too big. Got him. No, not a green sunfish. Yeah. Maybe if we catch a bluegill. That's pretty cool. Oh, oh, little guy. Don't go down in there further. No, no. Yeah, he almost didn't make it. They're more likely to catch green sunfish and rocks. That's where they tend to live. Huh. I say that and then I catch one. Oh, he just fell off. He flopped right off. Oh, got one. These aren't exactly micro fish. We'll go ahead and let them go. We're out here at the third place now. We were micro fishing and then the fishing kind of trailed off there. It's a pretty sunny day. We're going to go from the actual lake back down to a spillway to this other side here. Overall though, we've caught quite a few different species today. Probably five or six. Wow, that's a really pretty fish, Daxton. Yeah. That's the neatest one we've caught all day. 
I think that's a pumpkin seed. I don't know, long-eared sunfish and pumpkin seed are kind of hard to tell the difference between them. Like it, can you see it has a little mouth? It's got a little bit smaller mouth, yeah. Why don't you hold them up? Here we go. Smile. <laughs> that's a pretty fish. Okay, you can put them back now. I see him. Is he gonna bite it? Up. Oh, yep, got him. Green sunfish. <laughs> oh man. Hold on, little guy. Oh, he got away. <laughs> I watched him right by the rocks get it. Green sunfish are so aggressive though. They just can't stand seeing a bait and not hitting it. We hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to stick around for more in the future. We'll see you next time.